This is my last training before the fight. I feel pretty weak. It's just a matter of absorbing a little technique and not physically grinding myself down to the point where I'm useless tomorrow because the fight's less than 24 hours away. Jimmy, please. Yes. I want to introduce my masters. Hey, nice, nice to meet you, Mr. Gracie. Nice to meet you. Okay, great. Mr. Gracie. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Do you have any doubts for the fight tomorrow? Because he's the man. Yeah. My hip movement. Hoyler Gracie is a jiu-jitsu legend who's won three national championships. Hinato's asked him to show me a few moves that will hopefully give me an edge in my match tomorrow. Make him worry about the choke, go. Yeah, and then he block, go, go, go. And cross the leg again if you want, and then you go for the triangle, go for the arm bar, and then just keep going, yeah. So what it's about is, is misdirection. It's making your opponent think about something else. Then I can use my guard. All the time. Yep. Okay. You know how to sweep, you know how to choke, yes. but sometimes you don't know how to mix. Yeah. And the time you learn how to mix, it's gonna be easy. Hoyler's just telling me to change one or two things, everything kind of falls into place. I mean, I know a lot of it, so Hoyler's doing a great job of filling in those little gaps and just, I can feel my game getting better and better and better. It's just a matter of keeping those little details in mind when I'm fighting. Yeah, my caller. Exactly. And make him think, and then you let it go and keep his squeeze here. Don't, that, yes, don't make me pass out, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's like out of a movie, it's perfect. I love to be in this place, you know? This is a very spiritual place. Yeah, you really do, like you feel the energy. You know? feel the energy, you feel so the energy, more than yeah. Gym. Okay, ready? Yep. Now, let's sure. go. That's it. It's my final day of training, and Breno has a few last minute tips before my fight. See, then more. And then, then the, the, the hands start, became up, and then go to the so leg. Your legs. Yes, 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 yes. Go, 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 go. Very good. I feel like over the past four days of training, I've gotten little pieces of a puzzle. And then today, it was like we took all those pieces and put them together, and I can see the big picture. Yeah, feel the, very good, go down. That, that's, 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 don't stop. That's it. One more time. I think Breno put a pretty good strategy together for me. Like, he saw what my strengths were as far as jiu-jitsu goes. He sees what I'm good at, and he wants me to try to capitalize on that. Thanks, Breno. As ready as I can be, man, thanks. Yeah? I appreciate it. Yeah, dude. you're ready, man. Let's do it together. After five days with Breno, I'm psyched for my final fight. I just hope Jimmy's as prepared as I am. What's up, guys? Mr. Gracie, how are you? Nice, nice to see you. you. Yeah. What's up? You got a good time over there? Good up, training? Adam? Yeah, it was great. It was awesome. Right. How you doing? How's your jiu-jitsu coming? Good, man. I feel so much better. You know, like I understand movement a little bit now, you know? Uh, I feel a lot better, like, controlling my opponent's body. The thing I've been learning here mostly is, is how to wait. Yeah, that's how to wait. No, it's no problem. It's you no always want to force it, right? Yeah, like, that's, you can't. All right, but you get changed up, we'll get out of here. See tomorrow then, my friend. Thank you so much, okay. sir. Thank you so much. I'll be ready. What's up, <laughs> Welcome to Oz. How you doing, bro? Good to see you, bro. So how's your training? I got choked out, dude. I'm like splayed out like that, and he started doing this collar choke on my neck, and I, I feel like everything's okay. I thought I like had a chance to escape. I'm starting to break out, and then right at the point where I was like, whoa, I'm gonna go under, I went to tap, and he had my hands, at both hands completely locked out, so I couldn't tap, and it, like he had the thing across my throat, so I couldn't really like be like tap, you know? I woke up, and everybody was like standing around. I, I was completely out of it, like wh where, where am I? And, that infection, man, set me back, bro. Yeah? It set me back. And then today, I was pretty much trying to take it easy. I, I felt really good rolling around, and then at the end, like, I stood up, and I'm like, oh, I don't feel so good. You I know saw what I mean? you. You looked completely drained when you were finished. Like, yeah. as soon as you walked away, you just, like, slumped. How do you feel about tomorrow? <laughs> if these guys are as good as the dudes I train with, they're, pro they're gonna maul me. It's fight day and over 30 black belts have come together to watch Jimmy and I take on two Brazilian champs. Gentlemen, after a week of training, now it's over and you will fight. The rules of engagement are pretty simple. Positions accomplished will count a point. Attempts of submission will count three points. Just protect yourself and try to do your best. All the best, good luck. Thank you, thanks, Jimmy. The fight is going to be the best two out of three matches. I'm up first, and I'm fighting a purple belt named Igor. 
I've uh, fought him a couple times in the academy. He's got to crack my arm the first day, so I know his game is solid, solid. So coming in there and uh, see if I can get a little payback this time around. Gentlemen, please. Jimmy, you fight Igor. Will be a purple belt match. Good luck. Ready? Time? Go. Nice. Good one, Jimmy. Go for them. There we go, Jimmy. There we go. Jimmy. Good, Jimmy. Nice. Watch your neck. Let's start passing his guard. Yeah, that's good. Stay on base, Jimmy. Stay on base. Don't let him hold, 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 hold. Nice, Jimmy. Nice. Get the back. Hold his back. Hold his back. Hold his back. Don't let him. Don't let him cross side. Move your hip. Move your hip. Don't let him cross. Yeah, good one. Move out of him! Don't, don't give him! Come on, Jimmy, you gotta work! You gotta work! Don't let him put your head! Easy, Jimmy! Jimmy tapped and dude didn't feel him tap at first. So it got cranked a little further than it should have. Can you stretch your arm? It's about there. Bending an arm the wrong way can cause some serious damage. And I just hope the injury isn't permanent.